Welcome everybody, we're in Ecritique City. The Komodo girls need us, so that we shall do, but- Oh, thud. How? How is this possible? How can I lose to mere Komodo girls? You were watching me, Gold. Yeah, that's right. I never thought defeating five Komodo girls would be so hard. I got beaten to a pulp. You must have come here for the same reason, right? Don't get cocky just because you defeated Team Rocket. Those Komodo girls are insanely strong. Go ahead, see if you can defeat them. But I'm not going back. I don't want to see you win. When I shall... When I shall do. Oh, it's automatically making me walk. Okay. Welcome. My name is Zuki. I met you previously in Violet City. In order to bring back Ho-Oh, we needed someone with the right bond with Pokemon. We asked Mr. Pokemon to give this mystery egg to whoever showed true potential. The egg was eventually handed from Mr. Pokemon to Professor Elm and then to you. However, being a peer alone will not be yawn. Being peer alone will not be sufficient to face the power of this Pokemon. I must test you. Are you ready? Yes, we are, because I have this order memorized. I will test how closely you've bonded with your Pokemon. Alright, so this challenge uh, actually is pretty tough, I'm not gonna lie. Um, you have no chance of healing in between battles, and you have to be all five eons. First up is Umbreon. Uh, I don't have any movesets with them. I, Komodo girls are useful. They're, like, important, but, like, not important enough for movesets. Just know that the order, I believe, is... Oh, that did not beat you. Just know that the order is Umbreon, Espeon, Flareon, Jolteon, and then Vaporeon. In that order, yeah. I don't, I don't have really any set of order after uh, Beetlejuice, but hopefully we can make it through because I already know that SP it's probably going to take out Beetlejuice. But I wanted to get Embryon out of the way because I think Embryon is the toughest out of the five. I don't have any Pokemon left. Yeah, that's kind of how battles work. You are quite strong. You helped me in Ilex Forest. My name is Naoko. I'm the one that's not so good at directions. My eyes witnessed you defeating Team Rocket when Kurt was in trouble at the Slowpoke Well. Allow me to challenge you and your Pokemon. So not only were you just not good at directions, you were also spying on me. Alright. Espeon. All, right. All these Pokemon are going to be level 38, by the way. Uh, I do have Night Slash. But you have Psychic. Oh my god, is that powerful. Okay, uh, bye Beetlejuice. Yeah, I, I don't think I had any chance of surviving that. Okay. Amethyst? Espeon's gonna be probably the toughest one on my part to take out. You're just gonna use Psychic again, okay. Doesn't do a lot of damage. You don't have sh If you keep spamming Psychic, that must mean you don't have Shadow Ball. Which is unfortunate on your part. Is that gonna take it out? No. Okay, well... <laughs> okay, so we're back to even, basically. So that does just basically mean that I take it out. Cool. Bro. Are you kidding me? Okay, who's fast on our team? Let's just go Fuego. Fuego is probably capable of tanking this, but I don't I don't know at this point. It might crit, you know? We got a minus special defense drop and then a crit, which is not good. I just realized, okay, so Fuego is going to be sent out for Flareon. I actually might need to try and uh, get this to work. Oh, you are truly strong. I might actually need to start strategizing this. You are quite the trainer. I remember you chasing off that Team Rocket grunt from right here. I must thank you for that. Although I am actually a trainer myself. She who knows the most speaks the least. I am Biki, the Kimono Girl. Allow me to challenge you and your Pokemon. You're the one with the Flareon, right? Yes. Okay, so this one's going to be quite tough. I'm already, I'm already disadvantaged by being at 46 HP, but we're going to try and go for strength. Okay, we do have to speed the flare around. That's good to know. And just in case I want to try and go for, like, quick attack or not. Ooh. 
Okay, uh, we, we can live off. We can live off that, hopefully. We can, alright. You know, I, I should have expected a quick hit. <laughs> okay, quick, quick. Alright, these critical hits might start becoming frustrating. We're gonna send in Lumina. And we're gonna go for a surf. I almost hit Ice Beam. Okay, Will O Wisp. I'm not a physical attacker, so I don't know why you did that. Probably just for the burn, I guess. Good. Good. That's, that's what we want to see. Good. Almost level 38. Okay. Oh, you're good at Pokemon too. How do you think I got past the eight gym badges? Alright, next up. Excellent fighting spirit. You got me off the ice by pushing me from the back. I'm the one who skates his sandals. I'm Seyo, the kimono girl. I was listening in the dragon's den when you passed the test of the elder. Allow me to challenge you and your Pokemon. Man, what is up with these kimono girls spying on me? I thought I only helped you from the ice. Jolteon, alright. I don't know why I'm acting surprised I know the order I have them right here. Could a dragon- okay, so you're going for double team spamming. Okay, I don't have any, like, moves that can hit you guaranteed. I know this is gonna be three tap no matter what. I might as well just keep trying. This is gonna be painful. Ooh, this is gonna be painful. Okay, I do have shed skin. Hopefully that can wear off a bit. I think it just saw like one mist and then uh one it saw one miss and then it said, okay, that's good enough. So I think it's probably gonna go for another double team. No, Thunderbolt. Okay, so. I guess the AI saw one miss and said, huh, this is good enough. And we got it. Cool. All right. Good for Kyrie. Getting some getting some good uh, good battles in. Carrying because, well, <laughs> team really couldn't take out Jolteon. That might be the problem with my team is electric types. I am the last one. You are so dependable at the Goldenrod Tunnel. I am the one who twirls even underground. I am Kuni, the Kimono Girl. I looked at you in wonder when you thwarted Team Rocket's mission to take over the radio tower. You must show your strength to me now. Allow me to challenge you and your Pokemon. Look at my, <laughs> my team is so messed up. Okay, Vaporeon, that's all we have to take on. Uh, shoot. You're going fast over me. A roar beam! Okay. Ay, 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 ay. We survived the Aurora beam. Okay. And we got off a of dragon range. Okay. Oh my god, you have so much HP. Quick attack. Okay. Yeah, we can take that. So, knowing that you have Aurora beam. Not be smart to send out Venus. And we're gonna go for a Thunderbolt. Oh, quick attack, okay. Critical hit, quick attack, okay, what do, what do you expect? Hopefully this can take it out, you may have too much HP for Lumina. Yep, okay, well, you can always take it out next turn. It'd be funny if I just surfed it. And we take out the five Kimono Girls. This was a lot harder on my Soul Silver team. <laughs> just because of uh, how many status, just uh, how unlucky I was. Let's just say that. Confuse Rays attacking, hitting myself every single time. Paralysis four times in a row. It was just not fun. Cr critical hits. We were not wrong about you. You were indeed worthy of this. Please take it. We get the Clear Bell. Big sisters, I just saw the big shadow of a Pokemon over the bell tower. It could be... Gold, we'll be at the bell tower. See you there. Man, why'd the sister go over in the right stair? That made it 2-4 instead of 3-3. Three, three. I, I, only I can see that, I guess. Alright, we'll be right back and we'll heal.
All right, before heading up this bell tower, make sure you buy a copious amount of Ultra Balls or whatever you want to buy. Uh, we have that Master Ball. I have 78 Ultra Balls plus other balls in case we need them. I don't know, just to be experimental with it. Go into this tower that we can finally enter. Past here is the bell tower. This tower was built as a place of rest for Ho-Oh, the legendary flying type Pokemon. Since Ho-Oh left, many people have gone back up, gone up the tower to the tower to try and bring it back, but none have su succeeded in making Ho-Oh appear. Morty, the gym leader, is the one who tried. I see. That's the Ecruti gym badge. The badge alone will not do any good, but I can let you three. Please do go on. Yeah, well, little do they know is that I have the clear bell and the, and the wing, so I might just be better. That thing you have. You have done it. Please come through. And here is why I enjoy this tower more than uh, the World Islands if you're playing Soul Silver. One, uh, you do not need Whirlpool. You can just straight up climb this tower without any uh, any HMs or TMs needed. It's it's very fun. Uh, all you have to deal with is a puzzle, which uh, you just kind of go around. It's not that hard. These puzzles, I like these puzzles. And there's also a lot of items, like a full heal. Just for that alone, like Whirlpool is such a terrible move that it's just like... You, you might as well just carry an HM slug with you. And I believe you also need Flash for some part of the cave. So it's... If you can't have a Pokemon learn Whirlpool and Flash, well, hey, you're kind of stuck forever. Uh, can I? There we go. <laughs> I was getting stuck on that. Whereas here, you don't need anything. You just climb the tower. Uh, I will be trying to get every single item, though. So we will be taking uh, extra various routes. Like this one right here to get this item. PP up. And I need to go back around and get that Pokeball over there. But there's also another one over here. Wow, there are a lot of items. Uh, there are Pokemon you can encounter in here. I believe it's just Rattata and Ghastly and Raticate. Other than that, it's no new Pokemon. Uh, if you were going over the Whirl Islands, we will, I will be going over that part too. I will be getting all the Pokemon from uh, there, and we will be showing off Lugia as well, so don't worry. Uh, how do I get that Pokeball? Oh, uh, wait, hold on. I know, I know how. There we go, there's uh, one that I didn't really see. I repel war off, hopefully I can make it through. Gonna get an Ultra Ball, hopefully I can make it to that ladder, I don't want to run into any wild encounters. Nice. Not nice. <laughs> Alright, the ladder you want to go to is this one. Other, other two will lead you to dead ends. Uh, what does this one do over here? I believe this will get us even more items. Rare candy in the middle. Nice. Always worth it. And... Oh, okay. Now we're running into encounters. Alright, the route you want to go for will be far left, and then this... Ooh, almost messed up. Nope, it's this one, and then you go for the middle route. I almost messed that one up. And it's gonna be this ladder right here. Uh, can I go back here? No, I can't. Okay. I was gonna be a hidden item check. Alright, next floor. Item right here. Max potion. You want that. Uh, there are going to be alternate routes on this one, so you're going to want to go up here for this ladder, I believe. Nope. Never mind, it's just an item. Full heal. I know there is an alternate ladder somewhere. Oh, this is where it gets tricky. Okay, this is what- what- I thought I had a repel- well, Alright, these pads will teleport you, but we're not going to go for it yet, because we want this max revive over here. A lot of good items, like I've been mentioning. And that takes us back, so let's go down this one and just keep trying them. I have the ladders memorized, but not the portals, so this will be just straight up. Uh, let's just try and guess. Gonna get an item over here, HP up, alright. Let's try this portal down here, just keep going, I guess. I swear if I'm going the right way, that might actually be sad. I'm gonna find a full restore. I wonder if all the items are along the way. Probably not. 
So I believe that is in fact the right way. <laughs> okay. Uh, we're gonna go back and try to get the item that I missed. Two items that I missed, actually. Okay, so I'm gonna loop around, and I'm gonna go click on that first teleporter. That's gonna take us over here. I can make it. Famous last words. Okay, so I believe this takes us to a set of items, but we do have to kind of use our brain to get it. Let's see where this one takes us. Alright, this will get us an item. Cool. Max Elixir. Always gotta value those elixir items because you cannot buy them in the store, so... And then we're gonna go up this top route to get the next one. Nice, got it. Oh, I almost walked on that one. <laughs> almost walked on the next one. And we'll get this final item that we missed, and then we'll go back. Nugget, cool, selling item. And heading back to the original route, the one that gets us to the top. We're gonna go down here. This teleporter, now that I actually hit it, I remember it. And it's kind of a linear path from here. I think so. Is there an item? I think there's just an item back there. Yep, so it is just a linear path. And you're at the ladder that brings you up. Yes, this is where we welcome Ho-Oh, when the dance we practice for many days becomes one with the sound of the clear bell we entrusted to you, then Ho-Oh shall come down from the great arc of the sky once again. Arch. That is indeed Ho-Oh, the guardian of the sky around here from ancient times. So many have tried and tried only to fail. Gold, your heart and the clear bell in harmony have finally made it appear. Gold, don't you see? Ho-Oh must have been waiting for someone like you all this time. Wouldn't you agree? Before you take it on, make sure to save your game. Once you have done that, it's time to rearrange our party. I'm going to be sending out Lumina as the best type. And... Shao. Shao on. A wild ho-oh has appeared. The legendary bird. Has to be legendary, right? Well, here you go. An amazing fire flying type that has special tanking capabilities like you have never seen before. Its signature move, Sacred Fire, is a move with 100 power and 95 accuracy, and it's a move that takes full advantage of that massive attack stat being physical. To add on top of that, it has a 50% chance of burning the opponent. Like an old guy once said, better have burn heal. Literally. The only problem I can really say I have for Ho-Oh is the lack of flying type moves it learns. I mean, you do get Brave Bird later on, but honestly, who cares about the flying type moves? The, di the diversity on Ho-Oh with the amount of moves and different types that you can have on it is insane. A legendary bird for sure. And can we talk about this banger soundtrack? Oh my god. 
I love it. So first, uh, first turn quick ball. As always, got to get full use of that quick ball. Hopefully you can catch it. I would love to catch it in a quick ball. I've actually never caught a legendary in a quick ball. So hopefully you can... S nope, okay. Hopefully you can do that right here. I gotta say, that cutscene is op optimally timed if you want to play it at like, I don't know, like 6 p.m. or something like that. When it's sunset. Oh, it looks beautiful with the orange around it. Unfortunately, I'm playing this uh, at like 1 p.m. So, uh, yeah. We're gonna go for a Thunderbolt. You're gonna just keep swimming extra sensory because you're flying type moves your uh fire type moves don't do much to me i honestly probably should have stockpiled but you know we have healing items so we can make this last let's see how much thunderbolt does i don't want to accidentally hurt it yeah we're gonna start going for stockpile sunny day okay you're gonna try and get use out of those fire type moves we don't have solar beam thankfully we don't have a solar beam pokemon either so uh we're gonna raise our defense hopefully it's gonna do something it's you might try and use a fire type move. I don't know how much that's going to do. Oh, you're going for your sacred fire. Uh-oh. I might have messed up. Uh-oh. That's tough. That's tough. Well, I mean, to be fair, we do have our own fire type. Is that we can use uh, Lava Plume on. Alright. I don't want to be... I fully recommend- okay, so you also have Fire Blast, which means you probably should only have one flying type move, maybe? You did not use Sacred Fire on Fuego. I would recommend saving your Master Ball. Uh, we still do have those roaming- wow, that did nothing. We still do have those roaming legendaries that we need to catch, and I would much rather you use it on those than, uh, a stationary legendary, which you have multiple attempts to go, uh, to try and do. So, yeah, on a, I'm gonna try and Ultra Ball it. Uh, we have many roaming legendaries, and especially the post game. So, we're gonna be trying to use the Master Ball as late as possible, and I recommend you do the same thing as well. Sacred Fire, that's gonna take out Fuego. We did get a blow a half, so that's good enough for me. Now it's just a matter of whether we can keep our Pokemon alive. I kind of messed up by not using Stockpile on uh, Lumina. I do wonder how much an Aqua Tail uh, non-stab would do, so we're going to try and go for that. Extra Sensory, your only powerful move against me. Honestly, it should be doing a lot of damage because Kairu's unevolved. Yep, I... Critical. Okay, of course. Whoa, 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 whoa. Pause it right here. Uh, we are pausing it right here because I have some unfortunate news. In about five seconds, my recording gave out. At this point in time, I am at the Elite Four, and I made the unfortunate decision to save right after the Legendary, and I didn't check it until post-production, which would be about right now, which might have been an error on my part. Uh, don't do that. I've made the decision to just cut it right here and explain what happens after, so basically, we do catch it. Uh, we catch it, and I believe in an Ultra Ball, and we just kind of escape rope, and on the next time, we go and go see Lugia from our Soul Silver, which you will be seeing tomorrow. It's unfortunate that I had to cut it out like this, but I made a mistake. It was completely my fault. I hope to never do this again, and I will take this as a learning experience. So, next time on Pokemon Heart Gold Soul Silver, we'll see you in Soul Silver when we actually get to catch up with our team and catch Lugia.